Welcome to another week here at the Tourland. This time we are framing up the attic. Um, we are continuing what we did last week and I think we are going to finish the majority of it, maybe if not all. So enjoy the video. So luckily I caught on time just before I nailed it all together that I needed to cut off that last stud and also the header on there because I have a rafter that is leaning right into that spot. One of the questions that we have gotten about the floor up here is if we are going to reuse it. Actually, there's just like on the second floor, there is no subfloor on there. So what we are going to do is we are going to actually leave this floor in there and we will just use this as our subfloor. It isn't in the best condition, but it's also not in the bad condition for as especially for a subfloor. So we will just lay real, the flooring that we want to finish it right on top most likely some kind of wood hardwood floor maybe in the hallway and the bedroom sections probably also in the closet and then in the bathroom we'll do some tile
So Julia and I talked a little bit about finishing the walls and what we discussed is we will most likely just m continue the walls up from the top plate up all the way up to the ceiling wherever it is going to be and just having a straight wall and then potentially depending on where each one of the rooms that we're in we might have a few little spaces where we put a ceiling on top that is flat just to make it a little simpler and maybe a little nook for the HVAC piping and everything that we have to run anyways so we'll see how that finishes but in general we'll just do straight walls all the way up to the ceiling One of the fascinating things about this house is that you can actually see the evolving stages of lighting and electricity in this house. So they had the first lighting when they built the house, they had gas lines that were just went in all the different rooms and then there was a gas fixture. Um, then right next to it, you can see at one point you probably had a fire with the gas lines so they added knob and tube wiring over the entire house so you can see knob and tube right there and then sometime later they actually added modern modern electricity with Romex cables all over the house too um, after probably the knob and tube was having issues too and they needed more electricity over the house
So I'm using a laser level that follows the bottom plate all the way at the edge. So I'm making, marking myself where everything to make it level or in plumb where it all needs to be. So therefore I can just easy work and continue putting the wall up all the way. Well, since it's the last day of my vacation here on Memorial Day, I don't think I'll be doing much here. I might be just doing a little cleanup and then probably head out, spend some time with family, and then tomorrow work is starting again, um, or at least my full-time job is starting again. And I'm sure we're gonna be very busy, so progress is gonna slow down a lot again, since I won't be here full-time at the house. Uh, the vacation was really great, just four weeks of time off and spending some time resting a little bit and then also making really good progress and make a big strides towards the next project here at the house was fantastic and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do that and yeah we'll see how the next few weeks go. Here when you walk up the stairs you arrive at a landing. There will be a reading nook, maybe a little couch over there in the corner and then we have a secret entrance plant into the loft in Elias's bedroom. Then there will be double doors opening up into the room. The room We'll have the master bedroom area with bed and everything over in this corner. And then this nook over here will probably have um, sit sitting, maybe a computer desk or anything like that. Then over to the left of the, of the bedroom section, we have our closet. Our closet is kind of big. We framed it up, but it was pretty dark so we said it is a perfect spot for a great closet that we can both use we'll probably have shelving all the way around in the corners so that we use the space very efficiently um, then over here on the left right there where you walked in um, we have the bathroom the bathroom will be a a modest bathroom will probably have a double uh, vanity over here and a shower and toilet in this side and then where the wall ends is actually where I still have to add another wall. You can um, straight across and basically what that whole section back there where the radiator is is going to be the heat pump um, and ut technical utility closet for the top two floors of our house. Um, it's going to feed the attic, uh, heat and cold air, and then also the floor underneath us. And here another panorama around the whole room with the entry to the master section and the bathroom with the closet, the bedroom section, and here the sitting nook, and then out here the hallway with the secret entrance to Elias's bedroom. So one of the details here that we have when you come up, and I know the lighting is really bad because of the window, but when you come up the stairs into the hallway, we have this double door. Um, I made it the size so that we can actually use some of the old doors that came up from here 
um, and then also it also made it so that if these doors won't work out then we can find something that is pretty standard size as a double door so it's going to open and what we did is we centered it and actually made it exactly the same width as the opening up here for the window so that way when we choose to we can open this door uh, open the two doors and have some extra light coming in from the windows into our bedroom well i think this is it for this week we only had one day working here on the house this weekend but it was the memorial day weekend um, we had some plan uh, some plans <clears throat> made with family and also Really, it's just the last few days of my vacation, so I needed to get some rest before I have to do my full-time job again. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I could show you kind of an overview of how our Attic Master Suite um, is going to look like. I wish you guys all a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys next time I turn on the camera. Bye! So the most common question that I get if for anybody who's visiting our house um, to help or just look and get, take a little tour is what is this door? So we are right here at the landing of the stairs and you come up in the uh, second floor there is a door and really it's really strange because the wall that ends here right underneath us is the entry door. There's a, there's a door right above the entry door and what actually is behind here is it's actually a closet. Not 100% sure why there is a closet up here in the second floor that is bumping out above the uh, entry door. But they decided of doing that uh, maybe to make the house wider and the top to, um, some kind of um, maybe, maybe <clears throat> to add some kind of symmetry on the house on the outside or anything like that. Not 100% sure. But basically, what we will do here is we'll probably take this plaster still off that is in there and then open it up to get us more light. There's actually a window in that closet, so we'll get extra light. I would show you guys, but I actually don't have a doorknob. I need to get, uh, find a doorknob so I can open uh, this door and then take the plaster out.